all real. And the way you draw a real is like that, with kind of a double line by the arc. And that's called real numbers. Every number that we have in the real number system is listed there. Okay? Are there other numbers not listed there? Yeah. What are they? No, they're square roots and negatives. Think about that. Square root of 4 is what? 2. two. two. Square root of 9 two. is? 3. What's the square root of negative 4? Negative 2. No, it's not. Because negative 2 times negative 2 is? Positive 4, never mind. Positive 4. Four. Four. So this is why the square roots and negatives actually are what we call imaginary numbers. And they are not what? Real. What's the opposite of real? Fake. Imaginary. What's the opposite of rational? Irrational. Irrational. You see what I'm saying? So math makes sense that way. We have something rational, we have something irrational. We have something real, we have something that is imaginary. So we use the words correctly in math to figure out what we're doing. This is everything you do in math. This is the real number system. This is all the numbers we pretty much deal with when we're doing math. Okay? Actually, math is the easiest subject in the world. Because after this, what kind of field properties are we going to use to, to deal with these numbers. What can we do with these numbers? These are called field properties. You want to write these out the side. Field properties. What can you do with these numbers in math? Addy, what can you do with these numbers in math? Uh, I don't know. Add. Add. Very good. See, that's why I asked her. So yeah, we can add. What else can we do? Subtract. Divide. Subtract. Divide. 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 Multiply. That's really all you can do. You can raise it to a power, but what's really raising to a power? Timesing. Timesing. <laughs> it's the same thing, right? You can take a square root, but really that's dividing. Think about it. Square root of 9 is what? 3. Because 3 divided into 9 goes what? 3 times. You see what I'm saying? So, so really, square roots are just dividing, and powers, or exponents, are really just what? Multiplying. So those are called the field properties. We use these field properties to deal with the real number system. Everybody got that? Okay, tomorrow we're going to get a little worksheet on this stuff and we'll hopefully try and do it. So. I, I forgot it was Tuesday, so I think we're in here until 10. Oh, we're okay then. Yeah. Okay, then I'm just going to give you a few. Everybody write these down. Ten questions. Uh, I'm going to give you an example first, so, let me, so don't write this one down. On a different, like, paper. Okay, and I'm going, to write, I'm going to put this down. Yeah, no, same paper, just at the bottom or whatever. Okay. okay. And it's only going to be ten questions. But I'm going to give you an example. So the number negative... Three, okay. I'm going to put that. I'm going to identify this. Okay. Is it natural? No. No. Is it an integer? No. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's an integer. So I'm going to put z for integer, or you can just write out the word integer. I don't care. Okay. This is an integer. Now you can write out the word integer. By the way, I'm going to write z. How come? Math people are inherently lazy. Why do you think we have so many symbols for crack? One reason, we don't know how to spell. Second reason, we're lazy. So that's why I majored in math. People always ask me that. Why in the heck would you major in math? One, I'm decent at it. And two, I didn't have to write. <laughs> so, so that was nice. My, my minor was political science. I love political science, actually. But math's easier. Math is the easiest thing in the world, because you don't have to write. And you don't have to memorize anything, really. You just have to follow a process, and you're done. It's the easiest thing in the world. So, I know you're not believing that yet, but you will. You'll believe it. Okay, so I'm going to put z for an integer. What else is it? Is it rational? No. Yes, because I can put that over what? Over 1, and it would be a fraction. So, therefore, this is still rational. If it's on the inside circle, every outside circle must apply. That's something you might want to write in your notes. If it's on an inside circle, Every outside circle has to apply. Every integer is also rational. Every whole number is both an integer and rational. You with me on that? Okay. So if it's inside a circle, it has to apply. So this is a, oh, rational, sorry, Q. I should have put a Q there. My bad. So that's rational. Okay. Is it irrational? No, because this sits off to the side. Notice these are all inside circles. This one sits off to the side. So it is not irrational. Is it real? Is it in the big square? Yes. yes. So this is also real. By the way, every one of these for sure will be what? Real. 
real because we're going to keep it inside the square. Okay, everything will be real. But did you notice how I worked? How did I work? In, out, in, in, out. In, out. Work in, out, and it'll be easier when you do this. Okay, work in, out. Because it's not really on the outside that matters, it's on the inside that really matters. Right, Danny? Okay. Otherwise, ugly people like me wouldn't get by on that. So, it's on the inside that really. Mackenzie, are you alright? Okay. You need a hug? Sorry, no hugs. Air hug. Okay, so. <laughs> Mackenzie, are you okay? Okay. All right, I can't tell because you got the mask on. All right, so here we go. Everybody ready? We're going to do 10 of these. You ready? Here we go. 10 questions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All I want you to do is what? Identify all the groups, subsets, that this number belongs. Everybody got it? Any questions before we start? Okay, here we go. Number one, let's do one. <laughs> Two, zero, three, square root of five, four. Um, On your assignments, do you want this one with your sequence of the answer Uh, This is going to just go on day one assignment. And just tell them to watch the video, because it'll be in the video. Okay, so negative three is the next one. And then we're going to go one half. And then we're going to go point. 372, and then we're going to go uh, pi, and then we're going to go square root of 16. Tricky one! Giving you a hint. That one's tricky. Number nine, uh, square root of 15. Number 10, let's go. If I could walk 500 miles, then I would walk a thousand more. There we go. That's what we're going Okay, you can quit the video now. Okay, do those. <laughs> 